Hey guys, welcome to another lesson of Pro Teaches Noob. Today I have with me Raymond. I have returned. Well, oh, thank you. You didn't do the I have returned the Dawn of the Tide because you did that last time. Yeah, I can't do it twice in a row. I was actually having a hard time trying to figure out what the hell's going to say. Why not just simply say, I have the power? He man. You could have done that, dude, given what we're talking about. Why haven't you done that? I did it in the last one. No, you didn't. You did. I, did. I have returned at the dawn of the tide. No, that was the no. That was like episode. That was episode one of this one. Episode two. Oh of, no, you didn't do. Second. I have the power. I I'm the only one who's done. I have the power. Oh, I haven't done. I have the power, but I, uh, oh, never mind. I was trying to do the. Uh, anyway. No, no, no. The the uh, what do you call it? The uh, uh, when when they come back from commercial break and they just go. Yeah, oh yeah, 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 yeah. But anyway, hey guys, we're here to be talking about, we're getting our He-Man coverage with DC Universe versus Matches of the Universe. Oh, geez, look at that cover. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Yep. Now Almost this makes take... this headache of mine just, like, not matter. Oh, I'm sorry, dude. Yeah, blood loss does that to you. Mm. Well, they put the well, blood back in me, but, you know. Right. But yeah, this is technically the second arc of the ongoing, but it was done at the same time as the issues. Wait, 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 wait. So this... It takes place right after the second arc, but before the third arc. Uh, the first, it was... happens after the first arc, but before the second arc. The second arc opens with them returning from the events of this. No, no, no. I'm just saying, you said that this was released alongside the other one? Yeah, because it, it was a mini. Oh, so this is a mini. Okay. Yeah, this is a mini, mm -hmm. and at the start of the se of the second arc, it, it opens up right away with just saying, like they uh, they re they return and somebody said, "Well, that was a crazy adventure," and it says, "To see what happens, see DC Universe versus Matches of the Universe." That seems kind of a weird way to go about it. I mean, well, because <laughs> what happened here is not all that important in, in the immediacy. All that ha all we need to know was they were gone for a while. Stuff happened while they were gone, and now they're back. But hey, 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 hold on. The important bit right here is Tila has red hair. We already, we already we went over that, and we realized, oh, wait, she did have red hair. And then you theorized she might have made it blonde because of Adora. Yes, uh, that's still just a theory. Oh, yeah, yeah, um, tell people where we left off last time. Uh, well, uh. Grace Skull, uh, boom. Yeah, Hordak uh, kind of pushed everyone's shit in. Actually, not kind he of. Tricked he, he, he tricked everyone. He tricked everyone. Yeah, he absolutely pushed everyone's shit in. Uh, Adora, formerly Despera? Despera, Despera yep. Despera, yeah, we actually Despera. got to see the fully realized version of her backstory, which was being raised by the Horde. Yeah, yeah. Um, what's her name? Uh, Shadow Weaver. She's dead. She And she was more of a mother to Adora. Yeah. Um, uh, Adam upgraded the Sword of Power. Got to this thing. Yeah, it got bigger and bulkier. Um, no, and actually, he didn't get that much bulkier. He, but his outfit changed. Um, let's see. Uh, that was about uh, it, really. The, the sorceress still is dead. She's going to stay dead. Although she's been Obi wanting it up for people. A bit, but not too much. Oh yeah, and to go along with what we found out at the end of the first miniseries, Orko's an evil shit. Yeah, he's apparently uh, Satan. Oh, and what, Adora... What, 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 what? That's gonna, and he's going to be the main threat of this. Okay, yeah. And Adora, she's been set free. She's a good guy, probably, maybe. But she wants and, to redeem herself. Yeah, she's on her own right now. She's not with the main cast, and she's yeah. probably not going to be not in, in this. Not in this. Not in this at all. Okay. So, we, what we have... Oh, yeah, in? and Queen Marlena is missing, and we're going to find out where she went. Well, I think it's pretty obvious where she went, considering. Yeah, because basically, to is... make this clear, is this is not an alternate universe. This is the Earth for this version of Match of the Universe that has its own version of the Justice League, which is pretty much a New Fifty Two League. But Keith's giving got making clear that it's not canon with the DC Universe. Okay, so it's not even part of the multiverse. This is just separate entirely. Well, it, you could say it's part of the multiverse, but the it's a multiverse where we more focus on the match of the universe and less on the Justice League. So, like, uh, theoretically, they could go dip back into Masters of the Universe, couldn't they? <laughs> yep. Even now, t in current comics. Um, no. Like I said, this is a separate... Er if they want to, yes, but they don't own the rights anymore. Dark Horse uh, yeah. owns the rights. Do they now? Yes. That's what why the um, that's why the Revelations tie-in was... Um, 
Oh, Dark Horse, yeah, right, right. Or the Dark Horse one. Well, that's a shame, because I've, I've been loving the, the DC stuff so far, a lot more. Oh, yeah. Dark well, they've only did those, those four issues. That's true, but... You and know, that was, that that was specific. We, and they have the other one coming up soon. Uh, there's more comics coming out? Yeah. You didn't oh. hear about that? No, I did not. I'll talk about it afterwards. Let's dive in. Now, there's going to be a shift of artists throughout all this. Right now, we're going to have Dexter Soy working on this. Dexter Soy, the man, the myth, the legend, the man who made... You know who he is? Fucking awesome. You know who he is? Dexter Soy? Yeah. Yeah, he's an artist. He's the he's the guy who did the like the first few arcs of uh, uh, Red Hood and the Outlaws. Oh right, right. But yeah, but this one had some interesting coloring. This was before Red Hood and the Outlaws. But yeah, we see this woman running. Dear God, what what was that? One of John's security countries. I suppose that level of paranoia does come in handy every now and then. I've been expecting you. Enter freely and of your own free will. Don't please, just don't. I suppose you don't care for tea either. That was uh, Xanadu, but that's Madame Xanadu. Okay. Can I just say how much I love Dexter Soy's, like how he draws women's faces? Mm hmm. Specifically, I love how he does women. Mm hmm. But yeah, I can't believe we've been reduced to this. Deal with it. The Horde may have taken Eternia thanks to your idiot sister, but holding it, that's a whole other thing. I think that's a lesson Hordex should learn. Hard. Yeah, by now, by this point, Rob David is heavily involved by this. As it says here, special sayings, because he's not writing it. Uh, he just say, you know, he's the guy who's the guiding hand on everything. Mm -hmm. So, they, But even though he gets a special get, uh, sayings, he's pretty much the main guy calling the shots. Oh, my word. And Tila, this time we need a functional uh, On my word. And Tila, this time we need a functional one. We can't integrate scrap metal. He was checking out my butt, the perv. <laughs> but, 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 uh, they're more machine than me. I mean, some of the um, horde troopers they were dealing with. I, I know. It's like, robot lady, how can he check out your ass? But they're more machine than man. And besides, bad taste of women is not a killing offense. <laughs> like, now, we'll revisit that comment later. Rebels! I was about to, was about to say, yeah. <laughs> Remember, we need one intact. That's intact, Tila, as incapable of speech. These cows can't aim worse a damn. Why did that sound like a, com a complaint? I, mean, I like a challenge. No comment. No comp. What's that supposed to mean? I think I'll go fight over here. Hey, hey, I know where you live. <laughs> what are you even saying about the banter with these two that Keith Giffen does? I'm sorry, what happened? What do you think about the banter Keith Giffen does with these two? Uh, they bigger like an old married couple. <laughs> what did you feed her when she was growing up? Furniture? Can we please just focus on taking a, on taking a functional one this time? Your wish is my command. Minimum and minimum damage. Damage. Finally, that's a high security transom. Whoever they stashed away in there, assume any nothing. For all we know, that could, they could have Skeletor in there. Now there's a blood and thought. Crack it open, and we see what we got. Didn't you just say that they might have Skeletor in there? I say a lot of things. You do and you do at that. Someone skating on thin ice. Here, let me give you a hand with that. You didn't answer my question. I know. Evelyn, quick, close it. But she's restrained. She's also annoying. Are you going to help me close this or not? He-Man and his little uh, he -Man and his little strumpet. Can men at arms and the other mass of the universe be far behind? Well... Are you going to stand there and gawk, or enemy of my enemy is my friend? What a chunk of horse. Is she always this coarse? I'm afraid so. For the most part. Uh-huh. She still hasn't told us why they had her stashed away in that ISO block. Fear of, of what I found out about his whereabouts. I can understand their concern. Were it to become common knowledge, the tiniest balance of bo uh, power could be shifted. Of course, that would all depend on his willingness to cooperate. With you lot, that is. He's quite smitten with me, you know. Do we really want to do we really want to hear this? Yes, who are we talking about, Evelyn? Why Skeletor, of course. Would you like to hear more? Okay, I gotta say Evelyn feels less crazy here than she did the first time. Still a manipulative bitch. Yep. That's quite an interesting story. It's not a story, it's the truth. I believe you. Stories are not always fiction. Okay, I like that phrase. 
This is true. Yeah, that's actually a pretty yep. good one. And I would not have known of your coming were you not uh, a dire harbinger. It's all right. Today I play the gore crow, so, oh, so be it. You know who I am then? I know of your need, if not of the need itself. Perhaps you might enlighten me? I'd rather not repeat myself. Meaning, John Constantine. I come, came to petition John Constantine. Skeletor walks the earth. Ske it's Skeletor? Skeletor? Sounds pretty ominous. I thought we'd agree that you'd confine that nasty habit to the streets. I make, I make it, I make it a point to stop listening after someone says we got to talk. You, your guest have a name, Marlena. Uh, really? And here I was thinking you were dead. You know of her? I, and, and you know her? I know of her from myths. Then is, and there is more truth in myth than in history. Skeletor, you don't say. Oh, do tell me. Because the fabric separating this world from others like it and like it, yet not, is sinus at this point. You you like said uh, that about the other twelve uh, and the twelve and uh, the other twelve sites, only because you saw fit to ask the same question twelve times before asking it yet again. All right, all right. You don't have to bite my head off. The siphons the siphons are active. The siphons are in place. He reserves the right to activate them. That's and that's got to and and that's got to go. I mean, you being high and mighty mucky muck uh, muck and muck Skeletor of Eternia, and here you are reduced to a. Huh, you seem to be under. You seem to be under the impression that we are equals, ugh, Black Alice, and yet as pale as the face of the moon. That will not do. No. Not at all. So that's Black Alice, a character Gail Simone created who could basically steal magic for herself. Uh, okay, never heard of her before, so thanks for the... Yeah, she's done so much. She's been able to, if it's magic, she can steal or copy the abilities. Okay, so if, she, yeah. if they're like giganta, she can make herself giant because hers is magic-based. She so can it, take... Okay, yeah, oh, go ahead. Keep going. I'm sorry. So yeah, so no, I'm just using that as an example of other things. If she can tap into it, she can do it. Are they going to explain how Skeletor went Super Saiyan? Well, yes, yes. Okay. Well, basically, the suit of his is his Havoc Sap uh, armored. Well, yeah, I, I, I know that part. You've told me a couple I, times. Um, well, to be fair, it was Orko who did it. Orko did it. Yep, because he's here for Orko's task. It is more of a pain than a con consumption. Take that comfort and take what comfort you can from that. Again? And... And she and she should count herself fortunate that I did not kill her outright. Despite my command that you not kill her, you know what, what I was when you were when you recruited me. They recruited. Amusing that. She is intolerable. Black Alice serves a purpose. As do you. Were it not for her, this world might have escaped my notice. Does she still believe me an elder god? The alternative would be admitting her country fell short. She is incapable of finding fault with herself. The siphons are in place. This was the last. How much longer must I be required to retolerate this madhouse world? Until it dies. And that's her doing this. That's her doing that. I'm sure you can find something to amuse yourself with until then. Yes, I'm sure we can. All right, stop, stop. Go back, go back. All right. I want to admire Dexter Soy's art. With Skeletor? Yes. That is so... Remember, his lower jaw was punched off. That looks so fucking cool. Wait until we see his full body. Oh my god. So and cool. Zor, that's what it's called on Eternia. Gaia, the living soul of the earth. The and the very fires of eternity, eternity. The natural essence of magic. The font of energy that mages draw on to work magics. And this Skeletor comes to harvest our essence for whatever nefarious reasons. I'm telling you the truth. If he drains the font, the souls of the planet dies. The planet dies. He knows it's how he deals with things. Poorly. Right, then. Moving on. Why come here to Arbus the Essence? According to myths, your Eternia is the center of all creation. A hotbed of science by way of magic. I mean... It's lousy with mages, so it's got to have a pretty decent amount of nowhere near as much on as Earth. Magic is a fact of life in Etern Eternia. Here on Earth, there are what? A few dozen active mages on the entire world? The essence here is barely tapped. Earth's font is a rich resource, a potential source of near-limitless power. Uh, okay, now I get it. 
Yep. That's and that's why we're here. Why I tolerate this Justice League Dark. Uh, uh, this Justice League Dark can't have someone getting too uh, can't have someone get too greedy now, can we? Then you'll help me. Nope. We'll see to this. Uh, uh, you just be in the way. Going to ne- and the need to know everything you know about the Skeletor character before we can. What? You lack respect. Know that you are addressing Marlena of Two World, wife of Randor the Force. Warrior Queen of Eternia just tosses him! It's never outright stated, but yeah, it's... She is supposed to be sp- really badass, isn't she? Actually, no, they always kept it. She was just the, uh, well, the king's arm candy, basically. She was an astronaut, but that's as far as it went. This is the only time we've ever seen her be a badass. Well, astronauts are typically like former soldiers. True. Not one at all. Not all of them, of course, but typically, like, she had to have been, like, an Air Force pilot at some point, and she had to have some kind of combat training. True, but but the name Warrior Queen means she's gotten more training on Eternia. Probably. Don't suppose it ever occurred to uh, to you to lead off with Warrior Queen of Eternia? Gaius, Brett, he's lighting another one. Then we understand one another. I think we do. (sighs) Okay, probably not a good thing. I hate what I write. Call it the house of secrets or mysteries or whatever. I can never keep it straight. What matters is that it sits slightly to the left of their reality and has been deserted since God only knows when. Makes it the perfect hidey all, eh? I do not hide. Hide, lurk, whatever suits our purposes, unless you want them in your face. As they will come to know me soon enough. Tell me of them. All of them? There's like a small army of them. Then tell me of the ones that pose the greatest threat. Huh. And be the Justice League. Justice League? I know, almost as bad as Masters of the Universe. Nowhere near as goofy sounding, though. Basically, she then explains all about the Justice League to them. Okay. And, um, like, as we're, um... He-Man and the others are finding out about where Skeletor is, and basically find a bit more about where Marlena is. Okay, and as we can see, these two are still bickering. Yeah, but of course they feel like Skeletor, if they, Skeletor could help or go or hurt their side of power, depending on who he joins with. Well, he's always going to be against them in the end, so that should always be taken into account. Well, they know that. They definitely know that. He'll, but yeah, he, he'll only side with them until it's, you know, right, necessary. right. Uh, but, but yeah, then of course, um, of course, yeah, evil is constantly taunting them still more and more. Yeah, we we can skip most of this. This is a uh... yep, yep. Until she transport, uh, well, she didn't use her magic to transport them. Okay, so it's just going to be these three that's on Earth, not the whole team, like the the covered. Yeah, uh, yeah. Oh no! Some, um, some other, I think some others do show up, but but most of them are going to stay on uh, on Eternia. I, I mean, oh look at this! this oh, Ed Bene. that's so this cool. Ed Bene's cover. That's so freaking cool. Oh, I love his armor. He's got chainmail and everything. That's pretty sweet. Yep. Now by this point, uh, Tony Bedard joins up. Uh, Mom, you're alive. Not for much longer at this rate. Less talking, more killing. Miss, and that's talking, more killing. Miss you too, Tila. There's nothing to, and nothing to kill. These rat things are just projections. But with the prism sort and the, the right sort of prism, something something's wrong. It ought to be sucking them in. And surely it would, were the, these magics from your realm. Lucky for you, I know their source are too well. And it would take the best of both worlds to dispel them. Struth. <laughs> look, look, at, look, look at his face. It's like, uh... No, yeah, like so that here. was interesting. Indeed, John Constantine, and the legends about you are true. How much more might we accomplish? Oh, dear! I don't know, man. If she if she was hugging up on me like that, I don't think I'd complain. Yeah, but it is Constantine. You could tell she's a bitch. Uh, yes, yeah, you're, but Constantine's uh, a bitch, too. Yeah, but he also there are some bitches he wouldn't go near, let's be honest. That's true. He wouldn't go near Harley, as we all saw. Mm-hmm. No, but he'd go near uh, with um King Shark. Yeah, that made me laugh so fucking hard. <laughs> like, but yeah, I do not rec- But yeah, I basically mentioned stuff like which is uh, which is funny considering Attorney is as mystical to us as Oz or Shangri La. I do not recognize those names, but you will find Lord Skeletor all too real. Is that affection I hear in your voice? 
I, I don't tell me the monster the monster stealing Earth's magic is actually your boyfriend. Skeletor is many things, but boy and friend are not among them. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. So what are you doing in this strange and joyless realm? Earth's not that bad, Adam. I was born here after all. Mother, you mean this is Earth? And how Bradell does an all-American gal become queen of Neverland? I was an astronaut, Mr. Constantine. My ship somehow crossed the dimensional veil. So it's, still, it's an alternate dimension within the same universe. So hold on. So from like... Uh, Const- what Constantine's- Constantine said and what Evelyn has said, they still know about each other because Constantine said that Queen Marlena was a myth. And... Because, well, no, I think, well, didn't you he also said, aren't you dead? So as far as he knows, she was an astronaut that died. Well, he said myth specifically. Like, Oh, no, of Eternia is a myth. Okay, and Evelyn apparently knows about him too, like all the legends or whatever. Yeah, con- yes, yeah, again, again, there was it's basically, okay, people always mistake thinks of some fiction making them one the same dimensions and universes are not the same thing they are but they, an alter- are, but they are vaguely aware of each other that's what yes, i'm talking yes. about yeah but i'm saying an altered dimension is other realms within the same universe so eternia is separated across dimensional barriers within okay. this universe hence why oh, she's from oh, earth okay. so so there can be multiple multiverses depending on what dimension you're in no, no, no. You can be different, multiple dimensions depending on what universe you're in. Uh, okay, a universe can have multiple dimensions in it. Okay. Unique to that universe. Okay. And that all fits in the multiverse. But this is still yeah. not canon to any fucking thing. Except this... for the Master of the Universe stuff itself. Okay, so it's its own multiverse entirely separate. Yeah. Well, it is within the multi. Look, there's no other alternate universes we see in this story. This is all within one universe. Well, that's what I'm saying. Is like, is this like, could this potentially be like an Earth seven or eight? Yes. Okay, that's all I wanted this, to know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This could be an Earth seven or eight, and I just want to clear up. This is not. This is still saying that this is an Earth within the same universe as Eternia, but they are separated across different dimensions. Okay, so it's the same Eternia from the comic that we've been reading, but it's not the same Earth where the Justice League is from that we know of. The yeah, primary. Yes, it's one that's very much like it. It's like it, but it's not that. Yes. Okay. So basically, it's it's only- this is the Earth. This is the Earth for the Master of the Universe universe. Okay, so. It All just right. happens to have a Justice League on it. One that's almost identical to the one that we know from oh, the m- m- 99%, yes. But anyway, okay. she said she uh, crossed uh, her ship crossed the dimensional veil and crash landed in Eternia. When she met Randor, and the two um, fell for each other. And I'd be at your father's side right now if Skeletor hadn't somehow rewritten my memories and stranded me here. The devil did the same to us all back home. Using an artifact called the Skull of Power. That so that's what the Skull of Horde Prime was called. The Our memories return. Okay. Yep. When I reclaimed my sword, but then we couldn't find you anywhere, and we feared the worst. With no way to return you, I was and to return to you, I was beginning to fear I'd never see you again. But now that you come for me, actually we came for Skeletor. Only his power can help us retake our world from Hordak and his armies. Hordak, good lord, these are desperate times. Just don't expect Skeletor to be happy to see you, Evelyn. It seems he found a new partner these days. Who? I'm not sure. She's younger than you, though. Prettier, too. So that's not saying much. <laughs> um, I'm going to have to call bullshit on that. No, 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 no. She's trying to tick her off. I don't care, man. That Evelyn that... is still fucking hot. Oh, I know. But I think she's just trying to tick her off so that when they do see Skeletor, she'll be mad and jealous. Hmm. But yeah, the Justice League have now gotten word about what's going on. And then, oh, brave new world that has such people in it. What is that, Shakespeare? Oh, I am not a shaker of spears, nor a rattler rattler of sabers. I am the doom of all who dare oppose me. I am Skeletor! What 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 you are is trespassing, and now you're going in a cell. Your confidence born of is born of ignorance, but I know all about you, Superman. You have two weaknesses. One of them is magic. Yeah, you're about and to the, spank Superman. And that makes you my placing! Not off to a great start. Okay, you have our attention. What do you want? 
I require powerful minions in this realm, woman of wonder. You people will do nicely. Scareglow attacks. Scareglow? Uh, attacks. He's, that's what he's calling it. Or apparently, they don't know. These are creatures. Yeah, I thought it was like, it's Scare, scare Glow? God damn it. Scare, scare Glow is here? Yep. Oh, computer, emergency teleport. Scans like, uh, so. Okay, now they're going to be transported away soon. Oh, so we boy. see, um, um, we got Roboto, we got Man at Arms, Moss Ma- Man, 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 Man um, Astro, Stratos. Astro, Stratos. So there we go. All right, so we got yep. we got four people coming in. That's kind of cool. And and Battle Cat. And Battle Cat. Okay, so five. So we got Roboto, Man at Arms, Battle Cat, Astro. Yep. Yeah. That, okay. Yep. Yep. But yeah. Um, um. So and so, what makes you think the warrior who lives here can help us find Skeletor? I was hoping he'd be home so you could judge him for yourself. Whoever it is, he is. I like his style. <laughs> Let's get out of here. I think he kills kids. <laughs> nope, but he's about to kick your ass. <laughs> I don't blame Teela for thinking that. Uh, Warning, incoming teleport. Oh, demon, be gone. Who the hell are you? And how'd you find the Batcave? Sorry, mate, but I let him here. Figured you wouldn't mind since it's only seven billion lives at stake. You figured wrong, Constantine. Do you see any ashtrays in here? Now explain yourself! This is the smartest man in the realm? He looks like Hordak's court gesture. Believe me, Tila, the Batman is one of Earth's greatest heroes. Not to mention its best detective. Ah, uh, no, that would be Detective Chimp! That's a fact! Yeah, but Batman is, has everything else over He's the Chimp. best human detective, yes! Batman's the best human, period. I don't care what anyone fucking anyway, says. Anyway, and we need all the help we can get tracking down Scala. There you are. The master wants you to, you to join us. Master. Computer, open the crypt- kryptonite vault. Access code 753. Uh, uh-oh. Uh, like, what the? He just got the uh, Oh, God. I don't know. What's more disappointing, that you would turn your back on the master, master or that we find you conspiring with his bitter enemies? Take them. Remember, the master wants the majors alive. On it, and don't struggle, or I'll hurt you. Adam, you and you think I'll be that? And I'll be that easy? I hope you're not. Oh, Wonder Woman versus Tila. Oh, that's. <laughs> I have I have the majors. Focus on the big blind master. Master said he's the real threat, Espe- especially to those who lay hands on my mother. <laughs> you shouldn't have done that. The master wants your head. Unfortunately, uh. Well, given what the sword is made of, yeah, you take no joint in killing. But if I must trade one life for a billion, so be it. By the power of Grayskull, this madman in blue left me no other choice. If anyone could have done that to Superman, it would be He Man, mystically was. fucking powered and hey, stronger. It's than thanks shit. to He Man that we got the weakness to um magic. Yes, yes, explain, because you said this off-screen last time. Yeah, in DC Presents, the first appearance of He-Man in a crossover Superman, it, it, I believe I believe that was when the first time it was revealed. Uh, let me double-check just to make sure. Okay, take your time. So, like, in the meantime, right. let me just say that the magic weakness is what the weakness I like most about him because it balances him out. Kryptonite is so scarce on the planet. Let me afraid that he's vulnerable to magic in that it can cut right through it. Okay. Well, yeah, it makes him. Act I like take it magic. back. It was 171. Even, regardless, it's still something that he cannot defend himself against. Yes. In other words, a magic bullet cuts right through his defenses. Yeah. It basically, he becomes an, a normal human being before a magic weapon like the Sword of Power. Or, or in other words, his invulnerability just like, Ching! well, yeah, because magic. No matter powers, how powerful he is, no matter if he's at his strongest with solar energy, Ching! well, yeah, because Superman's powers still are ba- are still based in reality, physics. Magic yeah. does not freaking care about reality or physics. Magic does whatever the fuck it wants to do. Physics and reality be damned. Of course. What have you done? Look at Batman. Uh, he defended himself. I don't... <laughs> it's like, Batman, I'm sorry, but uh, Superman was attacking him. He That was called self-defense. 
was. Oh, it was. It was. But I think at the same time, though, he wasn't in. Oh, I got to get jump back to the end. Hold on. Hate when that happens. Uh, okay. It's, we're, we're back to like square one on this one. Oh, wait. And then, oh, and then this cover. Yes. More of this, please. And this is the point where Dexter Soy is going to be off. No! Uh, good God. They killed Superman. I didn't want to. You people attacked us. It's true, my friends. Oh, but it snapped them out of it. Oh, so Superman's a good guy again. No, no, no. The others are snapped out of it, I should say. Oh, okay. Is Super Superman's not fucking dead, is he? We'll see him later. Okay. Stop trying to confuse me, John Constantine. I don't know anyone named Skeletor, and I damn well saw who stabbed my man through the heart. So this is, in this universe, the event of them getting together still happened. Ah, son of a bitch, why? Sink why Diana. does that pairing exist? I agree. Sink Diana. Well, why do why does Batman 1D exist? Uh, because the Justice League cartoon is better than whatever happened in New Fifty. Okay, anyway, anyway. Sink Damn. Diana. There was a skull face intruder on the Justice League satellite, remember? I was there. I saw him. Then these are your friends, Batman. Creator's grace. I had, and had I known that, I would never would have look, I won't fight you people anymore. Clearly, you were innocent pawns. The fault was mine in not recognizing this sooner. I am prepared to surrender without further bloodshed. And we should believe. And why should we believe? Believe you? Because I give you the word of, of a prince of Eternia. Neither I nor my subjects shall offer resistance. Tila, Evelyn, do I make myself clear? Adam, no. He was trying to kill you. Idealistic fool. Earth and water, heed my call. Elements, I need you all. Fire, jump into my grasp. Struth, with wind, restore to me my staff. Don't, evil end. Prince Adam gave his word. He's not my prince. Like, we're safe now. You're welcome. Safe for the moment, perhaps. But once word spreads about Superman's death, the entire world will hunt us down. That was stupid, evil, and I could have reasoned with them. Now you've made us fugitives. We haven't time to waste on reason. A few more days and Skeletor will make a husk of this world. Since when do you care about what happens to us? I don't, but it matters to you. And as much as it pains me to admit it, I need you. Just in case Lord Skeletor isn't so happy to see me. She's covering her bases, in other words! Yeah, but she, she still could have actually had, you know, more backup. Right. But, I mean, it's uh, not like the Justice League's unreasonable. But look at this now. With Superman, something happened and he did, seems to dis, um, turn to ash. So they And so, in other words, they think it was a curse of He-Man's sword. It wasn't. None of you are thinking clearly that yet. Can you remember why Superman attacked the Batcave in your wildest dreams? Why is, and would he ever do such a thing? We're hasting t wasting time here. We should be hunting down his... Uh, sorry, we should be hunting down his murderers. Yeah, they can't run loose. Well, Batman, are you coming or not? Get off my lawn. <laughs> <laughs> That's such a Batman thing to say. Yep, but yeah, everyone's reacting to Superman's death. Um, Black Owl just feels like, oh boy, wow, I wish I had popcorn. Did I not predict what would happen when I set Man of Steel at He-Man's throat? My nephew is above all things a warrior. He would stop at nothing to save both worlds. I knew his warrior code would ill serve and ill serve him in this realm. And yet, and yet what? And yet you're not exactly doing a touchdown dance here. So what's wrong? You and your dark master have a fight or something? Scout up to our bows to no master! Right, right, sorry! What matters is you knew, right? Every cape and cowl on earth is out for their blood now. You nailed it! Indeed, the fools will waste their energies hunting my nephew while my magic siphons drain Earth of his mystical life force. No one can stop me now. Yeah, you forget how fucking smart Skeletor really is. I know, and that was brilliant! Yeah, I know. It, it, as much as he freaking bungles shit up because of his dumbass pride, he is stupidly fucking smart. And exactly. the cavalry just landed on, on Earth. Yep. Okay. It's working. Of course it's working. The Horde uses these infernal machines to invade our world from their dark dimensions of despondos and kill our people. Now we'll use one to find and save them. Still, it's a one-way journey. If we cannot find Adam, Tila, and Evelyn on the other side, I'm not sure how we'll be able to return. So if any of you wish to remain behind, I'll not judge you the worst, you the worst for it. 
I always wondered how this play and about about this place. We should see the weirdos coming in and out of here. Ah! Fear not, good people. We are not. We are but warriors of Eternia, seeking lost comrades. Have you seen anyone out of the ordinary lately? Um. Uh, roar! Ah! Don't eat me! You Whoops. know, th those, you know, one complaint I always had about Battle Cat, I hate his fucking helmet. Really? I never liked the fact that it was a bird helmet on a fucking tiger. True. But it anyway. was so weird. It doesn't look much like a bird here, though. Yeah, it does. It's the power of Zor still. I know, but it, it still looked a hell of a lot better in the 2003 cartoon. But yeah, so they're putting point in the way of the Justice League. We have Justice League Dark meeting up. Frankenstein! Yep, and oh geez, we're gonna have Moss Man meet Swamp Thing! Yes! <laughs> now we just need Man Thing, and then the, we got the. Oh, and hey, Simon! Guys. Simon? Simon Baz! Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, this energy signal is definitely a match for the one lantern Jordan scanned at Ma Wayne Manor. Then they, then they were here. Fan out and search everywhere. Oh, so in other words, we're also having some of the other leaguers are separating, trying to find them. Who's the Perhaps bomb? we can be of service. That's Steve Trevor, by the way. Oh, uh, perhaps we can be service in that regard. After all, we trace the echo of evil and sorcery, sorcery here. Who's a? I am Man at Arms, General of the Guard and King Randor's Court. You are the Ju League of Justice, yes? We require assistance finding our allies. Does the name He-Man ring a bell? There was the killers! Take them! For Superman! Whoops! Oh, uh, whoopsies! Okay, so when you said 99% like the Justice League we're used to, you didn't you weren't kidding because that 1%, they are fucking retarded. <laughs> well, they, they just lost Superman and this is a world where now granted, they remember, still, they, remember it was so up in the air if Super Death of Superman ever happened or not, so it's still something that they should be like. Oh yeah, he came to him politely, and he just mentioned the name, and then he just attacked them. Yes, they wouldn't. I'm sorry, no. What oh, is oh, anyway. death regardless? They would not react that way. Yep. So this um partner of yours, why won't he show himself? What's the guy's the story with that guy? Guy hardly begins to describe what he is. He was overlooked by everyone. Even I failed to recognize his true potential until it was far too late. And now I find myself allied with an entity who promises to help me take Eternia from Hordak, but will almost certainly try to take it for himself. And Eternia is mine by right! Eh? He's talking about Orko, of course, right? Yep. I would have a word with you, my minion. How much longer must I wait for you to complete your task? Everything is going according to plan. In less than two days, we shall possess all of Earth's magic, and the planet will crumble. But not before we enjoy the spectacle of Earth's mightiest heroes, slaying He-Man and his tedious friend. Yes, the so-called masters of the universe. They always laughed at me. Tell me, Skeletor, who's laughing now? Yeah, he looks like Satan. He does! But, but well, we will find out about what happened to him. Satan or Malboja from Spawn? Malboja! Oh, look at this. Again, Ed Benet's drawing women. I still kind of preferred uh, uh, Dexter Soy's. Now, by this, from this point forward, we're going to have Pop Man back on. So at least you know that's good. Okay. I mean, don't get me wrong. I, don't, I haven't seen any bad art so far. It's just that Dexter Soy is probably the high mark. Right. You sure it's here, Evelyn? I didn't conjure us this far for nothing, Prince Adam. Oh, this can't be good. It looks like the end times. That's because it is. So this is what happens when a world and world is blood of dry of and is what a blood dry of magic. Indeed, your mother's precious birth world has begun the, its death throes. Left unchecked, Skeletor will destroy it. Not that it would be any great loss. What we seek is over here. A mystic energy siphon. Definitely Skeletor's handiwork. I could feel it from half a world away. So we try to destroy it, right? Doing so would only alert Skeletor that we are on his trail. However, the siphon transmits the magic it collects. And it collects. I can trace its signal to Skeletor's current, current location. Then hurry. If we don't stop my uncle, who will? He, and, he needs to transform it back into He-Man right quick. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. But of course, yeah, um, they're still attacking, uh, attacking them, and then they get word from Diana. I'm Steve. We're all searching for the so-called He-Man and his accomplishment accomplices. 
Switch to visual. I want to see who we're fighting. Are these your hostiles? They look similar, but no. But they talked about He-Man like he was a friend. You think they're reinforcements from wherever the killer came from? On my way, Steve. Take them into custody and we'll get the truce with my golden lasso. Oh, Lunch, not as awkward as I thought it would be. Lunch, Master Bruce. So in other words, they just, they, Steve at least made a not too illogical assumption they were reinforcements. Yeah, but he still kind of went half cock and started a battle that was unnecessary. True. Ah, the Justice League monitor shows multiple missed calls from Colonel Trevor. Any reason you're not answering? The whole hero community's out for blood, Alfred. They're caught, they're chasing these strangers with no understanding at what truly happened. Begging your pardon, but isn't it obvious? What more do they need to see? I'll show you. There and there, there. A few minutes after he was stabbed, Superman's corpse suddenly decomposes in less than ten seconds. I've checked that spot with an electron microscope. There's nothing left of Superman. No DNA. No clothing. Nothing. That's what makes me wonder. It's too convenient how the evidence just vanished as if someone didn't want me to examine the corpse. You think someone is obfuscating the fact about Superman's death? I think maybe that wasn't Superman at all. Master Bruce, he was more than a colleague. He was your friend, and you don't allow many of those. Could it be you're simply in denial? Um, I mean, why would and who would stand a profit from staging such a hoax? Of course. Wait a minute. Why is it hair brown here? Unless it's the lighting. I think it's the lighting. Oh no, because even in the even in the lighting, it would still turn black. Um, because well, I have waited. That, yeah, that, that's that's my hair color. I think it's just the coloring is just doing it off like it's trying to show that it's glowing but did it off well mo well if you look at if you look at a lot of like movie suit uh batmans uh, most of them have brown hair true lunch will have to wait alfred there's someone i need to see it's like a hangover that gets worse and worse and worse the more your magic battery charges up the more i feel like puking did you think black alice that you could outlive this but be benign little world of yours i uh, kind of hope maybe you'd spare me you know for helping your death serves a greater purpose, child. Arco, Earth is nothing but a sacrifice upon my altar, a means towards my conquest of Eternia. I shall remake Eternia as I have remade Skeletor, as I have, I have myself have been reborn into the Collective, as it is on my home dimension of Trolla. I have made thralls of my entire race. Damn! Oh, fuck, dude. You are evil beyond sh I, well, uh, I am the multitude. So too shall it be throughout the universe. Yes, Earth will die, and Eternia will fall. Such is the way of the Horde. I may not be around for much longer, Skelly, but something tells me neither will you. This is the first, and that is the first intelligent thing you've said. In other words, backstab. Yeah, he's like, oh shit. <laughs> oh, of course, Stratos versus Hawkman. That's a fight I want to watch. That looks awesome. Also, Stratos uh, looks so fucking cool. Look at that suit of his. Yep. And you're I love a slippery. his helmet. It looks awesome. Oh, yeah. You're a slippery one. I, I was trained from birth by the Sky Masters of Avion 2. Should have trained you to talk less. Ba -boom! Oh, that's bullshit. <laughs> oh, jeez. Um, oh, Man what Hunter. is this creature? Martian. Oh, yeah. Manhunter against... <laughs> oh, here are my thoughts, Beast. Do not force me to harm you. We need not be enemies. If these people misled you... Savage creature, I tried to warn you! Stay put. and Stay put, plant guy. Don't press your luck again. Power ring. Oh, come on. Where's the swamp? Oh, yeah. Swamp sings with the Dutch League Dark still. Yeah. Oh, jeez. He makes a chainsaw! Oh, that's evil. Oh, there's oh, one thing! <laughs> Stop this madness, Green Lantern. Hey, I've seen your file. You're swamp thing, right? Why are you obstructing justice? This is far from justice, and your construct is in very poor taste. Yeah. All right. Hawkman, stop! Frankenstein, where'd you come from? Hang on, Hawkman, I'm dead man here. I hijacked the other, and, and he's got something Martians definitely don't like. <sighs> Colonel Trevor, call off the dog. The hell's going on here, Black Orchid? Did you bring Justice League Dark? I have new intel. Tell your people to stand down. We are making arrests here. Tell your people to back off. That's an order from your commanding officer. Cur Sorry, Colonel, but today I answer to a higher authority. Now, what just happened? Meanwhile, in Gossip, they got transported to Gossip City. I am man at arms. Identify yourself. Friends or foe? And friends, call me Madam Xanadu. It was I who cast the spell that brought you here. B 
barely. Apologies, but I'm not feeling well today. None of us are, love. At least none of us who can feel the world bleeding out. The important bit is we rescued our guests from dear old Eternia. Uh, what do you know of my homeland? And where are my daughter and He-Man? Still searching for Skeletor, I hope. Because he framed them for a crime that actually never happened. According to Tall, Dark, and Creepy here. Don't confuse them, Constantine. All the evidence suggests that Skeletor set us all at each other's throats, Man-at-Arm. Which is why we need to start working together. You see... I was the only one from the Justice League who avoided getting mind controlled by Skeletor. I think he sent them to attack He-Man, so he and they'd be all too busy to, and fighting to prevent him from draining Earth. Yeah, all too busy fighting to prevent him from draining Earth's magic, and I to make sure every other hero on Earth joined the hunt. He played a trick on all of us. He replaced Superman with a fake, so strong it fooled even me. A magical pawn he could sacrifice, knowing we'd stop at nothing to avenge the world, the greatest hero the world has ever seen. But for now, it's time for us to stop dancing to Skeletor's tune. It's time to pull together, save both of our worlds, and rescue my best friend, wherever he is. So that was a fake Superman! Uh, okay, and he's and Superman is on, uh, what, what's Orko's homeworld? Trolla. Trolla, Trolla, okay. Oh, oh, and I gotta rewind, because I forgot when I should do all these. Okay. Oh, man, I just love it whenever they have Frankenstein... Yeah, but look at this. Oh, that's so cool. There is, there it is. Skeletor's place of power. I can sense him within. Somehow I expected a more obvious, impressive hideout. From, and from this house, he is slowly murdering your entire planet. Now are you impressed? Good point. <laughs> Good point. Yep, now... Um, Why hasn't Adam changed back into He-Man? He will, he will. Mo and mother... Tila, you two try the back entrance. Eva and I will go to the front door. And through the front. Not before you turn back into He-Man. Thank you! No offense, yes, Frenchetto. Of but your uncle will probably blast us on sight. We're still going to need you. We're, we're going to need you at full strength. Oh, here's why. Bad idea. If you transform now, Skeletor will surely sense it. And there goes the element of surprise. Fair point! <sighs> Best way until we just before just before we engage. She's right, Tila. You just make sure to protect my mother. Queen Marlena will be fine. It's you I'm worried about. Evelyn's behaved herself so far, but that witch will backstab you in a heartbeat. All 12 titans in we place around the globe are operating perfectly. Earth's mystical life force is almost completely drained. In less than an hour, you and your world shall be no more. What makes you think this will end any better for you? We both know it's only a matter of time before you know who Double Cross is. Skeletor, are you blind or merely incompetent? What are you talking about, Orko? That's Lord Orko to you. Have you, you failed to notice you have unwanted company outside? Eliminate them. Now, what they will give Orko this? He's very genre savvy. True enough. I, 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 yeah, Even the first bit, he kept calling him out, uh, Skeletor out. Yeah. Can I just say I want a freaking statue of Skeletor now? Yes. Ah, my nephew and my erstwhile allies. Rest assured, there, there, there's nothing I cannot handle. I'm not taking any chances. Not when I'm so close to victory. No, wait. There's no need for. What is that? I'm not sure. Doesn't look one of Skel look like one of Skeletor's spells. What did you just do? Did you not recognize the spell? It's a variation of the one you use to enslave the so-called Justice League. Of course, mine is much bigger. And it's, and it's decided, man of bats. Man of bats! If you know what they've been saying is, we're talking this mm -hmm. weird way sometimes when talking about the Justice League and all that, Justice of League. Well, or so, League far, of man, so far, Man at Arms is the only one who's actually been talking like No, that. well, yeah, no, I do remember Marlena did that earlier. Well, she she talks normal, like a normal Earthling one. Yeah, but that, there was a few points earlier where she did it. But anyway, that symbol you wear is too close to Hordex for my liking, but incoming, and it's true. That, and, Struths. What is this Struths line he keeps saying? Struths. I guess it's like their version of shit. Probably. But anyway, he's used his magic to shield them from a mind control thing, but unfortunately the rest of the league is under control. Hero and villain alike. So Black Canary, Killer Croc, Black Manta, Firestorm, Orion, Blue Beetle, Omac, uh, Cheetah. Oh, oh man, dear. Fuck. Prepare yourself. There's no telling how we'll be received. Lead on, Gallion Prince. Or should I say Gallon Dunce? Skeletor, I bring you a gift. Stand down, Evelyn. 
We shall need this fool if we are to stop our true enemy. Oh! Okay. That's a thing that just happened. She was about to backstab him and Skeletor saved him! Seriously? This is worse than I thought. Dealer was right about you. I try not to disappoint. But you, Skeletor, you bring this world to the brink of destruction and you expect me to believe some other foe was behind all this? When last and when last we met, you shattered my havoc jet staff and my along with my jaw. If we didn't have a common enemy, would I not kill you on sight? Right. Then tell me who could possibly pose such a threat that you would side with me. Someone you once knew as a friend. Eons ago, one name struck terror across uh, into every heart across the cosmos. Hord Prime. He's transcendent evil lies on, lives on today in his son Hordak who slew his own father and claimed a grisly trophy. Horde Prime's accursed skull, an artifact I harnessed to erase everyone's memories and take over Eternia. We know, like, we know what you did all too well, Skeletor. None of us can remember who we were and were, even were, until Prince Adam reclaimed his sword and transformed back into He-Man. Yes, that is how it ended, but now how it began. You see, He-Man wasn't the first to try to stop me. Orko of Trolla would be would be wizard and unofficial mascot of Castle Grayskull. He re realized I had found the skull of power before in even before more powerful mages like the sorceress did. Despite finding him thoroughly annoying, I always respected that Orko had the heart of a hero. Too bad for him that his spells always backfire. Orko sought to destroy the skull of power. He got a face full of evil for his trouble. Orko absorbed the very worst of Horde Prime, unlocking the mental barriers that had always held him back. He gained power undreamed of, but lost his compassion, his empathy, his humanity. All his life, Orko wanted to be a great wizard. Now he is a mad god, and it will take all of them us to stop him. Poor, sweet, funny little Orko. He lost his soul trying to save us, and we barely gave him a second thought while we fought Hordex's conquest of Eternia. So, yeah! Okay. Yeah, it makes him more of a tragic character, but still, he's oh, going to die. He's he has die. to die, but, but at least also Tila realizes I was call, giving him shit! Yeah. I mean, it doesn't... I mean, it, it's fine, I guess. It doesn't do... It's the only way to salvage it, because Rob David was not involved then when they worked yeah. and did that. So it was his only way to salvage what he yeah. could. Like, I mean, it's not as good as the Revelations depiction where he was. Oh no! Obviously, it. obviously, but that again, was probably for, the best version for, of. But for ever. fixing a a big f up. Yeah. Uh, you'll burst a blood vessel if you keep that up. I mean, at some point, you have to accept that those shackles are unbreakable. I don't quit. Well, yes, that attitude may be heroic back on Earth, but here it's just plain foolish. Even if you were to slip your bonds, what do you suppose would happen? Care to find out? That's it. Fly! Be free! Oh ho! But where will you fly to? This is Trolla, after all. A universe unto itself. Here my power is absolute. All thanks to my greatest treasure. My little heart of darkness. Not for long. Oh dear, did I just give away my one weakness? No! The skull of power is no not for, for such as you to lay your felsy hands on. You may have been Earth's most powerful protector, but here you are just meat. <sighs> are we quite certain that this cottage is the place? The, is the House of Secrets is far more than it seems. It's a dimensional nexus, undetected by technological means. The Secret Six used to hide out here. Somebody's done his homework. Hello, Duncan. That girl. It's Black Alice. What have you done to her? Stand ready, comrades. These And those are Eternia's most dangerous villains, and... And... The Queen, lower your weapons, man-at-arms. For this day, at least, we are all on the same side. Ugh, what happened to her? The same that will happen to you and your world unless we act swiftly. Come inside. It's e it's easier just to show you. This is the big battery Skeletor has been using to drain Earth's mystical energy. It's the reason any of you, you uh, any of you who use magic are withering away. Then let us destroy it. <laughs> Don't waste your effort. I tried to deactivate it moments ago, but it seems Orko took precautions in case I try to keep it for myself. The Prime Siphon no longer responds to my command. We shall have to destroy the twelve lesser siphons that feed this one. Orko, 
What's he got to do with with this? And where's where's Prince Adam? He's gone to fight the enemy in his own realm and free the one called Superman, if possible. Then Superman is alive. Indeed, his death was a deception. But then you seem to have already deduced this. If anyone can free your comrade, it is Prince Adam. I helped him sneak into Trolla just before you got here, that he might take the fight to the enemy. Skeletor, I barely recognize you. You, we, you haven't been seen since, since He-Man shattered my staff and disfigured me. Yes, you all recall I fell into the abyss that surrounded Castle Grayskull. I was nearer to death than I care to admit. Oracle's link to the skull allowed him to reach out to me, and the next thing I knew, I was in its home dimension of Trolla. The months had transformed him. In turn, he had transformed his world and his people. He remade me as well. I'm still unsure if it was out of pity or as a cruel jest. But he did infuse me with the magic of my broken Havoc staff, and that shall prove his undoing. Uh, guys, hate to interrupt, but some visitors are starting to show up outside. Who? Oh, you know, pretty much everyone. Yep. And here comes the last issue. The battle with Dark Orko versus everyone. This is where the Master's enemies are hiding. How many? Doesn't matter. They all die. Once the House of Secret falls, no one can stop the Master. Some of us have been sent a hell of an ev uh, evite. Idiot. Orko sends your world's mightiest beings to destroy us. Now take them, my lackeys, and be not afraid. I cannot can guarantee you victory, but this much I swear. Skeletor, Lord of Eternity, refuses to die on this trap heap you call us. <laughs> Damn! <laughs> oh my god, my lackeys. <laughs> oh, his fucking vanity and pride. And these people are mind control to avoid lethal force. I'm not making any promises. As these, these are just the vanguard. I sense a multitude approaching. That's because Orko sent the mind control spell around the globe. We must cut off his power supply. I placed 12 mystic energy ciphers across your world. I'm sending their, their locations telepathically. Now go! Destroy the ciphers! Cripple our enemy and save your world! And while you're at it, pray my nephew's mission is going better than ours. Probably should have planned it out a little better. A whole dimension is searched, and I haven't a clue where Orko's keeping Superman captive. Probably At least he hasn't detected me already, dumbass. Yet, good thing I... Good thing you what? Came here in the guise of playing old Prince Adam? Did you really think that you would keep me from sensing your presence? Or did Skeletor neglect to mention that I'm a god here? Orko! It's no use running. I am everywhere. You cannot escape. I'm not trying to escape. I know you, old friend. And any treasure you claim, you keep close to your heart. By the power of Grayskull! I have the power! Come here! Who are you? They call me He-Man. I'm, uh, I'm the guy that who killed you. Sorry about that. Can you explain after we take care of this guy? Should be a heck of a story. It's a tale you'll never get to hear. Destroy him, my brothers! Show them what a billion trollians can do! Kind of starting to wish you brought some of my friends. They have their hands and fall back on Earth. As they're dealing with all the different, um... Siphons, and Batman's trying to get um, Black Alice to help out too, and telling him to tap into Orko's magic, use it to break it con its control. Orko's magic is way too vo and volatile. I could die. You'll be dead in minutes if you don't try. <laughs> and yeah, sure enough, yeah. she's able to do it. And once, the, and even Wonder Woman's finding out that Superman's still alive, and then. He man, I'm not I'm, I'm, I'm not good against magic. Okay, I've got the thing. The sword of power won't serve the unworthy, but in your case, Superman, I doubt that's a problem. You sure about that? Just don't call upon the power of Grayskull, and you'll be fine. The power of what? <laughs> <laughs> Unacceptable, Skeletor. Send me everything you've ciphered from that sad world now. Yes, it's all I hope for. It's glorious. It's it's mine! Get your claws off me! Let's go, He-Man. Party's over. The power is mine. I collected it! 
I don't care. You really think you could hurt me, Skeletor? I found you a death door. I remade you. I gave you your new powers, and I can get and, and what I give, I can take away. No! Bye, bye, armor. Yep. Does he listen? Keep to hitting door? him. Oh, Don't man. light him up. I never do. No one is listening. I am a god. Fear not, Orko. We'll restore you somehow. But first, you're going down. I will kill you all. Nothing can stop me now. I'll suck this world dry and leave it a smoldering husk. I fear even all these re reinforcements won't be enough. It's okay. I think my X-ray vision just found Orko's weak spot. Get ready to light him up. <laughs> what have you done? Your turn, He-Man. By the power of Skull. And there goes the skull. No, this can't be happening. It can't. The power. I must have it. And in the words, in the words of the bard, exit stage left. Give it to me. It's mine. Skeletor, you fool. A whole well that ends well. That's Shakespeare too. Where are they, Constantine? Gone, Batman. Forever, if I got it right. Let's hope, let's hope so. But if there's one thing I've learned about Skeletor is that he comes back. Oh, my son. I know, mother. And me too. But I can't just leave Orko like that. Once Hordak is beaten, I won't rest until Orko's soul is purged of evil. We never see that done. Oh, that's a shame. Speaking of Hordak, what do we do now? I mean, we did come here hoping to recruit Skeletor in our war against and the Horde. We'll just have to find a way to do, a different way to liberate Eternia. Gout speed to you all. Don't forget the right. Good luck, my son. Try to let me know if you succeed. Wait, she's I not promise. going with them? I, know, I was about to say, I promise I will. Queen Marlena, you're not going back with them? If only I could. But when Skeletor banished me to Earth, he cursed me so I can never return to Eternia. We'll find a way to dispel that curse, rest assured. Your first priority is to save Eternia from Hordak. You can worry about me after. Till then, take this locket to remember me by. Were you planning to tell her about your sister, Adora? It would only be cruel to, her, to let her know she has a daughter she might never get to see. But I still hold out hope that one day we'll make all of this right. So, what did you think of them? I thought they'd never leave. What do you two say we go past that hall we made in the Bat Cave? <laughs> So, that was great. I pretty mean, epic, right? I, yeah, I mean, I mean, s stupid freaking Wonder Woman Superman pairing aside, that, the rest of that was awesome. But that was just brief. That was just a brief reference, anyway. Yeah. Also, the way Dexter Soy uh, drew Wonder Woman and her curves was awesome. And Pop Man too. And Pop Man too. Although I will still, I'll, I, I'll stand for Dexter Soy. Anyway, I understand, I understand, but still. I possibly my favorite artist ever. Yeah, but still, though, but overall, what would you say about the story? It kind of feels like it meant, it didn't kind of feel like it was meant to go one way, and then it kind of reshuffled it partway through? Mm. Like, the Oracle stuff did not feel like it was set up early. No, it was set up at the end of the last one. No, no. No, no, it was set up at the end, but it felt here like it was entirely Skeletor at first, and then Orko took in, took charge. Um, I mean, granted, it could have been longer to get to give Orko more uh, breathing room. Right, but at least they they straightened things out with Orko, and it was a good fight, if not for the like you said, just like being idiots. Yeah, they were fucking stupid, uh, especially like Steve Trevor, who I, I'll be honest with you. I've yeah. always hated Steve Trevor with a passion. Oh, any version of him? Any version of him. Let me I guess, and he got the bang one D. Kinda, but that's more or less just like I don't know, with the exception of uh him in the movie, because him in the movie was pretty cool. Well, that was Chris Pine. What do you expect? Well, it's just the way he was written was also really good too. But every other version of Steve Trevor, I've just hated. Right, I just found but... him to be overly boring by comparison to Wonder Woman, who should be with someone far more interesting like Batman, not Superman. Right. But yeah, so the things here that were accomplished, or goes off the board, the Horde Prime skull is destroyed, and Skeletor is going to be stuck in the in between um, dimensions for a while with Orko, but they never uh, acknowledge. But, or, that. but he will escape, or and Skeletor will escape. 
Not Orca, though, because they never go back to that, unfortunately. Unfortunately, because they end, well, they end the whole run with dealing with Skeletor one, you know, his big, and Hordak big time. So mm -hmm. it's safe to assume he figured it out afterwards like he promised. So, um... So basically, we have a long time before Hordak is dealt with. Okay. All right, well, um... So, I, yeah, I, though... I, I, I would give that a an eight out of ten. Solid not as good as the not as good as the first arc. Not as good as the first arc, but it was still high up there. I mean, if you're above a, a six, in my opinion, you're yep. doing really fucking well for yourself. Yep. Um but also wish we had more He-Man, right? Yeah, uh, it, that that was probably the thing, like that plus uh the, the the whole Wonder Woman Superman thing, like yeah, again that was, that, that was a reference, dude. Don't let that stick to you. That was just a reference. It's still something that annoys the shit out of me. But the thing that annoyed me even more is how much the story uh, kept forcing He Man to be Adam for the dumbest right. fucking reasons. For reasons that Adam should have realized were dumb to begin with. True. Because one, you you, you got an like every even Tila was like, dude. Evil Lynn's going to fucking stab you in the back right now. And she was going to if it wasn't for Skeletor. Yeah, it's like... Oh, and Skeletor Adam, was brilliant here still. And another, and, and that's another thing. Adam still didn't transform into He-Man before transporting to Trolla. But, but I don't know to be fair, he probably did truly think, oh, I, uh, and he, uh, he'll sense me. Yeah, but still, fucking Skeletor should have told him, like, say, hey, dude, uh, I didn't know you were outside. It was... Uh, you know, Orko that told me that you were outside. So he yeah, he should have done that. He should have done that. Yes, but it's the that's the that's the fault of the writing, not the characters. That was at that was the writing making the characters be out of character. He mm -hmm. Prince Adam is not that stupid. That's true. That was very railroading. Yes, it was kind. Yeah, and in the in the in the most uh you know basic sense of the word, it was forced. It was. They forced him to be Prince Adam for God knows why and had little to no payoff because he still just transformed into He-Man anyway. In the end, yes. But, again, overall, though, this was still a strong story. But wait until we get to the next one. Now, the next one, I got to tell you, it's going to have a whole bunch of artists on that, ish on that arc, unfortunately. It's going to be wrote throughout a bunch of it, but it's going to be another game changer. Big time! What the hell? What? Is oh, you, you were lagging for a little bit there. Like your Weird. what you were what you were saying and we, what your body was doing were completely off sync. We are much on my end. Yeah. It's, it's well, that's that's so the next the next arc is a major game changer. Okay. Well, that sounds like a really fun time. I will see you all there. Take care. Bye bye.